Hello, good afternoon. My name is Obin Dako. Um, I want to talk to you about uh, financing in a project-based business or construction company or engineering-based business in our economy. In, in markets that are developed, the, in markets that the construction companies are developed or the engineering-based projects are developed, um, payments are well established. You are not looking at people being paid in two months, in four months, in five months. You are looking at people being paid in days when they raise certificates. Uh, you are looking at uh, uh, interest rate on, on loans, very small, very small. 1%, 2%, 5% kind of interest rate. Here, it's not like that. People are charging you 35%, 40% a year. 50%, some of them can go as I. If, they are, if the microphone is taking 10% from you, then you're looking at over 100% a year kind of uh, cost of using their money. So, you know, most people or most of us go into construction because your friend introduced a, a project to you. You don't really understand the project itself. You don't understand how the, the modalities are. You know, so they give you the project. They say that go and say finance it. Then you go to another person, go and take money and, and assure them that you give them, you know, 5% a month, 20% uh, a month, kind of it. Because you, you don't understand the business. You just are looking at getting a project and getting revenue. So most people have created problems for themselves by just that. Is, is a whole different thing when you want to build a construction uh, company. You should look at the cash flow, the cash flow, and you should look at the cost of, of using another person's money uh, to, to do the project. Uh, if you're able to establish these things, uh, you should, you know, then you're in a position to say that at least you have a, a little understanding of how a project uh, is managed, how a business or the business that is managing the project is done. Um, I don't think that uh, anything that you're paying 5% a month in financing a project that you are self-financing, there's no mobilization, you have started on a wrong note. Especially if your margins are just around 10, 15%, it's a wrong note, it will be disastrous uh, or it will be a disaster. Most of these uh, financing companies, when they, when you give anybody financing funds and you are charging five, ten percent a month, it's, it's staged to, to crash, you know. And that's why. So when people ask that, why don't we have a lot of construction in successful construction companies? Why? Because the the process of sourcing this project or getting these projects are are not authentic, and then there's a lot of uh, delays in payment. And, and there is a lot of, you know, bad financial handlings. Now, a lot of us are coming from background where nobody taught us how to handle money. You know, if you look at the, the country and you count how many houses are uncompleted, you understand how much we have locked in in just trying to get a place to sleep. You know, people save money to build a house. People save money to buy a car. People save money. Uh, for education, for, for wedding, you know, even some borrow for wedding and all that. So our understanding of finances is, is, is the show of, the proof of a person's richness, you know, mo to most people, is their house, is their car, you know, and the number of houses they have, the number of uh, cars they have. And those are really uh, not, not, not necessarily the case. To people, at all, to people who understand how finances are made or how wealth is created, they look at the revenue, how the revenues are coming in. They look at how the money is made. They look at the structures, the systems that uh, they are able to build, put in place, you know. And they look at uh, not just going for a kill in a minute. They build structures, and they don't go for 100 percent, 200 percent kind of business a year profit. They build, you know, and so the greed is uh, sustained, and the risk is managed. But always, we we virtually have to, you know, start to to learn those. So when you when you want to enter, or when you have a construction company and you want it to be sustained, then you have to look at all this. You know, if it's better you're not doing any project at all than just to do a project, 
and you run into a lot of bad, bad, bad situation because you don't understand the finances. And so, uh, you look at this, you look at this, you look at this, you look at your, your, your financials well. If you're able to manage them well, you'll be successful. If you're not, uh, you'll be. I think that construction in our country is more of a galamsey kind of uh, <laughs> business. It's not structured. The risk are so high. The risk are so high, and and you can easily be in bad shape. Thank you.